There's a well-known and rather deadly color scheme given to fishing lures known as Fire Tiger. It's normally painted on hard body plugs like these, but I wanted to incorporate it into a trolling fly pattern. There's a New England tradition of making tandem hooked trolling streamers like these. You'll see them mounted this way on cards and stapled up onto a display board. And you'll see them in hardware stores and convenience stores, gas stations, and uh, you don't seem to see them anywhere else. So I had lived within an easy drive of New York's Finger Lakes for a good 13 years before I decided to get serious about fishing them. I found a great mentor in my buddy Ray, and before long I was having success on my own. A lot of that success was with the Fire Tiger streamer, so let's get going. We're going to start with what's going to be the trailing hook, and you want to give it a good coat of thread. The tandem hooks are held together with a thin braided cable with a plastic coating. It's thread tension alone that holds the cable to the hook. So for fish over 10 pounds, you might get in trouble with the hook pulling loose. body's going to be a wrapping of safety orange yarn. So we're going to whip finish this just as if it were the head of the fly and coat it with nail polish. Just to zazz it up, we'll string some gold-colored beads on the cable. Now we can go to work on the front hook that will hold the wing dressing of the fly. There's an argument to be made for mounting the trailing hook pointing up or down. I'll leave that up to you. Just don't spare the thread tension or the number of wraps any or you'll be crying later. And we're going to do an orange yarn body like before. The first wing layer will be a small clump of orange bucktail. Sorry it's a bit blurry, but this is where I'm evening up the tips of the hair.
Now when you're tying feather wings it's very important to use a matched pair from either side of the skin. That way their curve is a mirror image of each other. You size it by laying it alongside and you really don't want it extending beyond the trailer hook. The next wing layer we're doing the same way but this time with two pairs of yellow feathers. I'm just getting it on exactly how I want it before I tie it down. Over the top of our wing will go a small clump of fluorescent green doll hair. Topping on the fly will be a small hank of ostrich earl. cheeks of the fly will be a matched pair of golden pheasant tippets. We have to strip away the waist barbules until they're both the same length. Now the cross-sectional geometry of the stem of a golden pheasant tippet feather is such that it won't lay on the fly properly after you tie it down. So we're, I'm using crimpers to flatten it in the orientation that I want it to be. I'll do that to both feathers. Now that the stems are flat, I can mount them on. And with the fly fully dressed, I can tie down the head. Little dab will do ya. I'm 
shining the light from behind so you can see the nice tiger pattern the grizzly feather gives it. Thanks for watching!